Okay, so I'll be presenting basically analysis and algorithms for dynamic network coding in wired and wireless networks. So my work can be classified into three different portions. So in the first portion, I am concentrating on wireless network coding, or more specifically, I am talking about complementary index coding problem. So what is the problem, basically? The problem is, let me start by giving you the specific model. You have a relay or a server, and then you have a bunch of clients. And then each client has access to some side information, and it requires some packets. For example, if you look at this example, in this, this the, we are given a server, which has four or five packets, and we are given a set of five, uh, five clients. And for example, in this, this client wants packet one, and it has access to packet two and packet five. And similarly, this guy, it wants packet two, and it has access to some side information. Now the objective is that the server should set a, so should set a set of packets such that each client is able to decode its required packet with the least possible number of transmissions from the server. Give you an example, if you talk about the solution without network coding or without index coding, it will require server to send five transmissions. But if we use the solution that, that, that uses the index coding, server can meet the demand, demand of all the clients in just three transmissions. So, so the crooks, by using index coding problem, we have reduced the number of transmissions from five to three. Okay, so now what, so what, what are my contributions? The first thing to note is that index coding problem has been proven to be NP hard and even hard to approximate. So now what should we do? So I thought, okay, it's, it's a, index coding is a hard problem and hard to approximate problem. So I started looking at the complement, I, I thought I should look at this, this at, at, should look, I should look at this problem from another perspective. What's the another perspective? I looked at the complementary problem to the index coding problem. So what is the complementary problem? In the actual index coding problem, the objective is to minimize the number of transmissions from the server. But in the complementary problem, the objective is to maximize the number of saved transmissions from the server. Although these two problems look very similar, but interestingly, you can come up with an approximation algorithm for the complementary index coding problem, where it is not possible for the index coding problem. So what are my contributions? Firstly, I devised a set of approximation algorithms for complementary index coding problems. In addition to that, I looked at the different scenarios of index coding problem and looked and, and proved their uh, complexities. And in certain cases of the uh, complementary index coding problem, I came up even with the optimal solutions. So this is the first part of my net, uh, PhD work. And the second part of my work is where I'm talking about the network coding for the dynamic wide network. So what is the problem? We are, having a set, we are having a multicast network, and the network is dynamic. By dynamic, I mean is that links can go up and down, terminals can join or leave the network. And what, and what does this dynamic nature of the network co causes is that a network code that was previously used in the network before a terminal joined or a link broke might not remain feasible, or all the terminals might not be able to decode their packets. So now the objective is that to modify the existing network code such a way, in a way that all the terminals are again able to decode whatever they want, but the number of changes in the existing code should be a minimum. So what I am, what is my work? Firstly, I looked at this problem, and what I proved is that this problem is NP hard. So now what should I do? So I came up with an algorithm, although which is which will not give the optimal solution, but it still bounds the number of changes which can which are required. A, in the existing network code to make the new network feasible. Properties are, and then what are the beauties of my uh, proposed algorithm? Number one, it is distributed. It is deterministic, and it provides zero error guarantees. And my, okay, in addition to that, I came up with an assignment of network codes based on prime numbers. And the beauty of this pri prime algorithm is that this prime number will keep the, keep the network code feasible if you know an upper bound on the number of terminals that can join or leave the network dynamically. And then in the third part, I, I am looking at the special case of this network coding for dynamic networks. So this problem is called distributed data retrieval problem. Although this distributed data retrieval problem is a specific case of network coding for wide networks, but it is in itself is a very general problem. So what is the problem? We are given a bunch of servers and a, and a terminal. So parts of a huge file are stored on the servers. And some of the servers might contain linearly independent packets, and some of the servers might not be connected simultaneously by clients due to topology constraint. 
And in addition to that, each usage of each link in the network has some cost. So now the objective is to find a topology connecting the terminal or client to a subset of servers such that those servers contain linearly independent packets and those can be accessed simultaneously and the cost of this solution is least. And I use the ideas from Metroid theory and network flow problem to, to, to provide an optimal solution to this problem. Thank you very much.